So Alex, I'm still curious about uh, the typical use case and UV. Yeah. Can, you, can you explain more about the yeah, use case? Absolutely. So I mean, one of the typical use cases that we see is what we would call Agile BI. So it's really bringing data together from multiple data sources for real-time analytics, for predictive maintenance, for example. Um, in that context, we also often talk very much about um, data self-services to really give end users the freedom to use the data that they require for themselves to take the right decisions. Um, another big use case is in the data warehousing. Um, so what we would call, or what Gartner actually called, a logical data warehouse or a logical data lake. So if you're building a traditional physical data warehouse, you copy data into one place and these projects often take 12, 18 or more months to complete. Um, exactly. So with, with, a, with a data warehouse um, based on a logical data warehouse, you can do these projects in three to six months time. Oh. Yeah. So you have really massive savings. Like one third of the project. Then. Exactly. Exactly. It's very, we can, we can be very effective in, in um, either building a completely new data warehouse or extending an existing data warehouse with logical capability. Um, another use case is what we would call a 360. 360. So, yeah, so think of, for example, a call center um, where you bring together information from your ERP system, from your CRM system, maybe from your marketing database and maybe from social media. Mm. So you want to have a complete picture of the customer who is calling so we can bring together a customer 360 view or a patient 360 view or any kind of asset 360 view. Um, and if there are any kind of feedback during this conversation in the call center, we can write back that information to the databases as well. Integrated communication operations. Exactly. It's, it's quite challenging since I also have worked at contact center, so I experience before. <laughs> like, okay. Experience. Okay. okay. So another use case is then um, the migration to a modern data infrastructure. Um, we're seeing quite a lot of companies who are coming from a more traditional data storage on-premise, and now they're looking at, um, well, a, a hybrid environment where they move some of that data, uh, for example, into a cloud or into a cloud storage. With data virtualization, you can actually support this migration process by making it completely transparent for users where the data is sitting. So you can do the migration actually at your own pace without any kind of business disruption. So on our own pace, the migration can be uh, easier, right? Ab absolutely. I mean, you can do the right steps. You don't have to go for a big bang, which puts a lot of pressure, but you can do gradually based on the time that the company requires to do the data migration. Okay, that's the use case that uh, I also uh, interesting more about it. But how about the benefit of DV itself? Yeah. Okay. I mean, DV um, provides, I would say, quite a lot of, of benefits. So the first of all is is agility. So so when you want to change your data infrastructure, we are really agile. We're not talking about months to to change your data structure, but we're talking about days to do that. Days. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, the other thing is time to value. Mm -hmm. So we have seen, compared to traditional data integration technologies, um, 40 to 70 percent time saving um, to to do your your data related projects. Okay. Um, and then, last but not least, TCO. So based on the latest um, Gartner report that was published just a few days ago. Companies who are deploying data virtualization can see up to 45% cost savings in comparison to companies who are not. 40 up to 5, 50. Four, up to 45%. 45%. That's quite big. Yeah. So, that's, this is the, in, the, the interesting for perhaps our audience as well. Mm. As the professional or new professional. What is the required talent or skill set for this DV project? Okay. I so, I mean, we're on one side looking at solution architects. Okay. Um, I think for every solution architect, knowledge about data virtualization is really becoming mandatory because, mm -hmm. I mean, they will obviously be the ones who will decide on how does a modern data architecture look for any kind of customer. Um, and data virtualization is very become very quickly becoming another standard tool for data integration. 
So this solo tone aspect is playing a major role. Absolutely, he plays an absolute major role and I think to be up to speed with the latest technologies and the standard technologies that are out there in the market. Usually we find different various architecture in every company, right? Exactly. So they have to do the tailor made or do some business requirement first and define the solution for each of the company. Exactly. I mean, a solution architect typically has to understand what is the status quo, where do we want to move to as a company with our data architecture and then what are the tools and technologies we can use to achieve actually those company targets. When design goes wrong, everything's wrong. <laughs> exactly. And and you know that data is the new gold, <laughs> yeah. according to the Forbes magazine. What is the second uh, role that you are suggesting? Yeah. So the, the second role would be then the data engineers who will be deploying data virtualization. Um, again, for them, it's um, another key technology that they should be aware of. And um, for Denodo, I think our tool is actually very easy to learn um, and they will be able to, if they have experience in, in the data world before, they will be able to pick up um, Denodo data virtualization extremely fast. So there is, there is uh, training that you provide for this new professional to learn about Denodo? Absolutely. I mean, we have a whole curriculum of trainings um, available um, that are tailored for the different roles of where data virtualization is relevant. Good. Thank you, Alex. Okay. So, buat teman-teman yang mau belajar data virtualization dan tahu tentang Dondo, uh, stay tune di channel kita dan kita akan coba publish banyak hal menarik tentang data virtualization dan data technology. Thank you. Thank you.